So yesterday evening we arrived here at Rincon de Luna, the most breathtaking and beautiful hunting destination in Argentina. And today we're hunting for red stags. We're about 80 to 90 miles southwest of Cordoba and to get here it's a little bit of a trek but we are gifted with just some of the most breathtaking topography that I've ever seen at a hunting destination. We've travelled south on the estate today, a couple of hours from the pavilion, just so that the other hunters who, who hunt throughout the estate here as well, some have gone north, some will go east and some will go west, um, and there's not any overlap at all because this estate is just sprawling with hills and mountains and it's pretty special, pretty breathtaking scenery. We've been hunting now for about four hours this morning and we spotted a really nice herd of red stags followed by five beautiful females. They caught wind of us. These animals are pretty smart and alert and they've smelt us. So two hours on and we were back around the, the rocks again. One thing is for sure here, these mountains, if you can't go over them, you have to go around them. Um, and that can be one, two, three hours, depending on, on where you are. The grass seems to just grab at your feet as you're trying to climb up. One of the phrases that I've been saying in my head throughout the whole of today is what goes up must come down. But actually here at Rincon de Luna, what goes up keeps going up. We walked into the herd of hinds, they spotted us they alerted the stags so that was a bit of a, a challenge at first and because we had to go back down around and come back up again um, trying not to alert them of our, our presence because the females here tend to be out scouting for the males. And finally when Oscar said we can do this your stags down here. We crawled above the rocks and just at that moment when I thought you know a whole day in and I'm about to shoot my stag after the climbing and and the crawling and the walking and I almost felt like I was too tired to take the shot but as soon as he told me that it was there the adrenaline just takes over your body the whole experience comes together and when we climbed up on that ridge and he put the rifle down. I was like, this is it, you've almost done it. So my adrenaline was running, my heart was beating in my ears, I could hear every breath that I took. And I had to control my breathing and you know, just make sure that I had breathed in. And then as I excelled, I had a clear shot and I squeezed that trigger. and it was successful. Oh. And then I thought to myself, this is where the hard work starts yeah. because he went down um, and he went down the ridge and that was when we then had to figure out how to get him out. I didn't choose an easy spot, did I? <laughs> oh, <see. laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> the stag was quartering on, so um, you know it kind of went in just below the ribs and, and through the shoulder, so straight through the heart and lungs. A really nice, clean shot. But it was just 
The, the stalk of a lifetime, it was absolutely fabulous. Um, challenging, um, tiring, um, but exhilarating all, all at the same time. So I'm pleased to say that I've had my first successful hunt um, of Argentina.